Welcome. My name is Dan Murphy. I work in field service at TRDI. Today, I'm going to present some of the new benefits and enhancements of the latest Wind River 2 software. Under flood stage conditions, a channel may overflow its banks. In this diagram, the main channel is shown to the right of the vertical green line and the overbank to the left of the vertical green line. It can be the case that the instrumentation used for the measurement of the main channel may not be suitable for the overbank area. This may be because the overbank is very shallow. If the main channel is measured using Wind River 2 version 2.22, it is now possible to add in the queue of the overbank area to the main channel queue. This will result in the summed queue being available in the double quote F12 double quote and also the Q measurement summary. Care should be used to measure the respective edges up to the green line in both directions and not to cause any overlapping. In this example, if the main channel transect was started on the right bank and the overbank area has a Q of 10 cubic meters per second, then select in transect and enter 10 for the manual discharge. The laptop internal Bluetooth can now be used instead of the external Bluetooth dongle. However, it should be carefully assessed in case of any unforeseen nuances. A range check should be done to confirm that the range is more than sufficient. There is now no need to set the GPS latency in the serial port. An easy way to check for lack of GPS latency is to place the ADCP and the GPS on a cart. Start pinging, then click Start Transect. Move in a straight line for say 100 meters, then make a sharp right angle turn. This is the red arrow you see on the next slide. When viewing the GPS track, it should turn within a few seconds of you making the actual turn. Continue this process of going in a straight line and making sharp right angle turns a few more times. When finished, save the measurement. This exercise should be done in an open area, such as a field or empty parking lot with an unobstructed view of the sky. Note, when using GPS for an actual measurement, a good compass calibration is necessary. QA, QC. This new feature allows you to select what items you would like to monitor during data collection or playback. In this example, I have selected boat speed and voltage as examples. In the case of the boat speed, you can see that I set the poor value to 2 meters per second and the marginal value to 1 meter per second. In the checkbox just below, you can check to use either text or an icon. Headers can now be included in the generic ASCII output data. In this example, the header which has ensemble number, velocity magnitude, and velocity direction can be seen on the first line of the output. The numbers that are highlighted in green are the reference numbers in the documentation, which I will show you on the next slide. This is a few snippets from the documentation showing the reference numbers in yellow. Note that the comments section has a brief description of the items. You can see all the enhancements and bug fixes in this version of Wind River 2 by clicking on Help, Contents in the Wind River 2 software on your screen. Then go to Appendix F. Thank you for watching. You may contact us at rdifs at teledyne.com or 1-858-842-2700.